sisters <coughs> Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him told us in one of his narrations man qala la ilaha illallah faqad dakhala jannah whoever should recite la ilaha illallah they will go to paradise so the first thing we need to understand is that the passport to paradise is declaration of la ilaha illallah that is the first thing now we need to also understand that going to paradise is one thing but when do we go to paradise some people before they should go to paradise they will have to go to hell because of their deeds and their actions they will go to hell and they will stay some time and then ultimately they will be taken out and sent to paradise but they will be called in paradise the dwellers of hell that will be their nickname now we don't want to go to hell as a result allah tells us in many places of the holy quran that we should repent for our sins take for example in this verse i'm going to read that is chapter 66 verse 8 ya ayyuhal ladina amanu tubu ila allahi tawbatan nasuha Oh, you who believe, now you are believers. Allah is addressing the believers. Oh, you who believe, turn to Allah with sincere repentance. Now that is something. Allah tells us in the Quran, in another place, if Allah were to take mankind to task for all the wrong that they do, there would be no single human being left alive on the earth so that no matter how much you try you might still be committing mistakes knowingly or unknowingly all of us no exception no matter how good you may become you would have had a past record and the past record of a lot of us may not have necessarily been as good as we are now so because of that allah wants us to always keep in mind that we would have committed or we are committing mistakes knowingly or unknowingly so we need to repent repentance is not just a mechanical exercise is not your everybody say Oh Allah forgive me and I say amen that mean I I agree to whether I am serious about it or not repentance want some sincerity in it that I am really sorry that I made mistakes that I put black spots on my soul that I have done wrong this wrong and that wrong and if it should be shown to me what is going to happen so Allah says repent sincerely tubu ila allah tawbatan nasuha sincerely think about my mistakes and let me ask my lord to forgive me for them to hide 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 them wipe them out i don't want them in my record of allah i know i have put them there i am responsible but please help me and that is repentance if you do it that way allah says it may be that your lord asa rabbukum an yukaffira ankum sayyi'atikum it is possible that your lord will remit from you your sins and will admit you into gardens under which rivers flow so if you sincerely repent the possibility exists that allah didn't say directly you know the possibility exists that allah will forgive you your sins and take you into the gardens beautiful gardens right so what we need to do is if we did something wrong knowingly if we know that we are going to do something wrong and we say the flesh is weak well you know we have to uh, 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 succumb to temptation whatever it is 
don't let that hinder you from humbling yourself before your Lord and sincerely asking Him to forgive you for your shortcomings. It's easy to make a mistake. A slip of the tongue and you could say such bad things that you will have to repent for. You see, it's so easy. And Shaitan, I, I'm, I was telling him this evening, Shaitan has real capacity. He has real power. He knows the weak spots of every human being. And he knows how to work on it. In some, he decorates the evil. In some, he does this. He's, oh, oh, he knows that fellow smart to work. But one simple thing can nullify all his power. One simple thing. I seek refuge in Allah. I believe in Allah. If you just begin to say so, you are going to nullify the effect of shaitan on you. And if he was able to catch you anytime, say, I seek, I, I, I repent. Oh Allah, I make tawbah. Sincerely. Not just mechanically for people to see or something like that. You know, some people believe, and it is a fact, that if you recite Wonder Road, 10 of your sins go. And you get 10 blessings. And you elevate it 10 times. So don't worry, I could do plenty wrong. And I recite plenty Darun. And I will uh, um, get nullify those. Don't think like that. Try your best to stay away from evil. Because good and evil do not mix. And it's either you have evil in you or you have good. You can't have two hearts in one chest at one and the same time. You can't have the king of evil and the king of good one time. It's either one or the other. So we have to keep struggling. We have to keep some people say struggle with your nerves to try and control it so that it will work with your room and it will beautify your personality. Look, the verse continues. It's a long verse, you know. The day that Allah will not disgrace the Prophet, peace be upon him, and those who believe with him, on that day, Allah will be happy to beautify you and to join you with the beauty of the Prophet, peace be upon him, if you make sincere repentance. <coughs> All right? Prophet, peace, and those who believe with him, their light will run forward before them, and with their record books of deeds, in their right hands, they will say, O oh, our Lord, keep perfect our light for us. And the, and the translator, Dr. Mohsen, says, Give us that perfect light so that we can see to cross the bridge. That terrible bridge on that day. If you have proper lighting system, you will see how to cross the bridge easily. And you will not have a problem. So remember, my dear friends, we need to take care and keep in mind all the time. Life is an onward journey. And what is next? And what is next? Something that will come is part of what we have sent with our own hands before. So we'll go and meet it there. What I want to meet there? I don't want to meet black, dirty uh, pools or in the road or, or things splashing on me and so on. I want to go clean because I have to meet my Lord. How to clean? Purify yourself. Begin from now. Try and get rid of those black spots and those dirty marks. Get rid of them. And Allah will take care of your affairs. That is the important thing. So on one hand, what we do here every Thursday is we seek repentance from Allah for our evil and our mistakes. And we try on the other hand to strengthen the other dimension of our personality so that our call will say Allahu, Allahu. If you have Allah in your heart, shaitan cannot come. You will, that is, that is like, a, like a proof, a barrier you are putting between you and the devil. So as long as you have Allah in your heart, you are much safer. But remember, he is looking for that time when your heart will not say Allah who and he will try to catch you. Because his mission is to get you away from Allah. Get you away from Allah. That is his mission. And he will use every, every method in the book to make that possible. Because God gave him permission to do it. 
Allah gave him permission. Go ahead. But those who believe, you will find them different. So the only thing that can pull us through is to believe in Allah. Today, all what you are seeing happening all around is that, like life has no value. The body doesn't mean anything. Some people are getting killed like just as how you kill a chicken. And that is what is happening. But those who stay on the path, Allah will protect you. Allah will help you. Allah will bless you. Allah will make for you whatever is better for you in this world and in the next. That is what we have to keep in mind all the time. So as we have assembled, let us resolve inside of us that we don't want the shaitan to be there. So any little bit of accommodation we have given to him inside our heart, let us clean it up. And one way of doing so is to repent. Oh Allah, forgive me for my sins. Those that I am aware of and those that I do not know I have committed. I made a wrong and I did not know. Please, oh Lord, you are the all-knowing. Forgive us for our shortcomings. Is that clear? You have anything to ask me about it? Prophet, peace be upon him, says you should repent for your sins at least 70 times every day. That means plenty times. The prophet is saying, so he recites him, uh, Astaghfirullah, so much. All right? And he is the messenger. And if he does that, what about us? What about us? So don't feel shy and don't feel too big to say, oh, oh Lord, forgive us for our shortcomings. And those of your near and dear ones who have gone before, help them. You can still help them. And forgive my parents and forgive my, all the brethren who have gone before. Forgive them all. Uh, because we do not want them, our, our brethren, to go to in the, in the fire of hell. And if we beg Allah, and he should accept the repentance of any one of us, that will be a great success and a victory for the believers who have gone before. Let us be generous in that matter, and let us ask Allah to forgive us and to forgive those who have gone before us as believers. And we would have been doing a service to ourselves. Because every time you pray for someone who has gone before, Allah will bless you even for that person. Even as he will bless that person, he will bless you also. Because Allah is the most generous. So let us now try our best to strengthen our cult, to try and get the vibrations inside of us and better things will happen to us, inshallah.